Hello everyone, Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. On behalf of Jnana Sudha Vidyalaya and your science teacher of class 4, we will be seeing now today the fourth lesson that is the human body. The human body. Please take out your textbooks, page number 181. Yeah, as I told you earlier also, you just need to follow me when I am reading. Yeah, keep your finger in the textbook and do follow me. Now I will read the lesson for you. What is this human body? Yeah, what is this human body? Everyone knows that everyone is having a body. The same way you are also having, I am also having, everyone is having a body. As we are human beings, then the word came human body. When we talk about the animal, then animal body. When we talk about a plant, then it is a plant body. The same way here, in this fourth lesson, yeah, we will be seeing the human body. What is this all about? Yeah, The human body is like a machine. Why he is using the word machine here is, we do many, many things, okay, or work, yeah, all the day, yes, so like a machine, how it runs, if you on a button, the machine will start doing its work, but a machine will do one particular, suppose if it is a washing machine, it will only wash the clothes, if it is like a utensils machine, it will only wash the utensils, yes, suppose if it is a mixer grinder, then it will only grind the things, what we put it into that, the same way here, but a machine is a human body means all these things we will be doing. More than a machine actually, the human body is more than a machine. The human body is like a machine. It is really a wonderful machine. Yeah, it is really a wonderful machine. Why he is calling wonderful machine is because we are doing all sorts of things, all sorts of work. Yeah, it can do many things which other machines cannot do. Yeah, human body can do many things which other machines cannot do. It can see, first thing it can see. We see with our eyes, it can see. Next, we hear with our ears. First one is seeing, the second one is hearing. We smell with our nose. Yeah. We taste with our tongue. We taste. And feel. Feel means we feel with our skin. Yeah. We feel cold, sometimes hot, everything. Na? That is done by the skin. Okay. Then it is a machine. It is a wonderful machine. Which is doing all these things like seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting and feeling. It can also produce young ones. Yeah. It can also produce. They can give birth to that baby. So, we say it as a, it produces young ones. Next. The sense organs. These are all the sense organs. Just now I told you that the five. Yeah. Those are the five sense organs. The sense organs in our body help us to know the outside world. How we are knowing the outside world? With what? What is this meant? With the sense organs, we know about the outside world. The sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin. How many are there? There are five sense organs. These organs are controlled by the brain. Whom? How they are controlled? They are controlled by the brain which is there inside our head. Yeah, head is there here. All the senses are just observe. Where are these five sense organs? Eyes, they are all in the head region. Nose, in the head region. Ears, in the head region. Tongue, in the head region. The skin, also in the head region. So, all these five sense organs are present in the head region and this is the region, the brain which is controlling or commanding every organ there. Okay? This brain is controlling all the five sense organs. Got it? Yeah. When we look at something, the eyes send a message to the brain. 
If I am seeing a book, I am reading for you now. How? It is happening. I am reading. This is the message which when I am reading with my eyes. Eyes are the sense organs here. When I am reading this book, these are sending the messages to my brain. Then I can speak out. Whatever I am reading, I am speaking it out. Yeah. The message to the brain about the shape, size, color, etc. Here. Yeah, see here. I can see the size of this. I can see the color of the board. I can see the color of the chalk. The size of the chalk. The size of the textbook. All these things are being sent to the brain. Yeah. What are they? The message to the brain about the shape. First thing, size, color, etc. Not only these three, but also other things also. For that thing, for that particular thing, all these messages are being sent through the eyes to the brain. It is the brain which tells us what we are. It is the brain which is telling us, which is dictating us. As the teacher in the class dictates you, tells you what is right and what is wrong. At home, the mother, the father will dictate the terms to you or tell which is right and wrong. The same thing for the body. Who is telling all those things which is right, which is wrong, which is good, which is bad? Who is telling us? It is the brain who is dictating the terms or which is telling us everything. The ears send messages about sounds to the brain. First thing we have seen the eyes, it is seeing the visual effect. Whatever we are seeing visual, we say that is sent to the brain. That is through the eyes. Next is the sound. From where it is? Going inside the brain. That is through the ears. We have two ears. From that it is sending. The ears send messages about sounds to the brain. Again, these are also sent into the brain. Then we can hear the sounds, yeah? The lower voice, if I speak a little bit lower, that also you can hear. If I shout, that also you can hear. You can hear the light music, yeah? Everything we can hear with our ears. That is being sending to the brain. The nose sends news about different kinds of smell to the brain. Now we have seen the ear. Now we are moving to the next sense organ that is the nose. What it is doing? It is smelling the thing. It is smelling. It is a bad smell or a good smell. It is a, all those things. Yeah, a pungent one. Those are all the things it is sending. Which is sending? The nose is sending those signals to the brain. The nose sends news about different kinds of smells to the brain. Then we can smell the things like that. We can smell a thing, a rose flower or this flower, yeah, or the perfume or a food cook. Whenever our mother is cooking the food in the kitchen, we can smell the aroma there. Yeah, everything with the help of our nose. That is the nose sense organ. Next, coming to the next sense organ, that is the tongue. Till now we have seen the eyes is over. Yeah, ears is done. Nose is also done. Then moving to the tongue. What does this tongue do? The tongue sends news about taste to the brain. It is so salty, sweet. All those things will be sent by the tongue. Yeah. So we know the taste of the things what we eat. What we are eating. Yeah. That all the things are being sent to the brain with the tongue. The skin sends messages about the uh, Heat, cold, pain, pressure, smooth and rough surfaces etc. Yeah, tongue is over. The last is remaining is the skin. What the skin is doing is all these things. If it is paining, see if I pinch here, I can feel the pain. If I pinch here, I can feel the pain. Yeah, if I am putting some pressure on this, I am holding like this and moving. That also is a pressure. And next is the smooth. If it is rough or smooth also I can feel it with my skin. Whatever the skin I am having. If I touch any surface, this is a rough, a little bit rough. Yeah, here. If it is a polythene cover, it is a little bit smooth. The smooth, the rough, yeah, the pain, the pressure, everything, the cold, yes, the heat, the cold, everything. Who is sending this message? The skin. The skin what we are having is sending all the messages of all those information to the brain. So every part of this sense organ is sending different different things to the brain. The skin at the 
tip of our fingers is the most sensitive. The skin at the tip of our fingers. This is the tip of our fingers. Whatever the skin we are having at here is the most sensitive part. These sense organs send their messages to the brain through the nerve. How? Okay, from here, ears, I am going there. From where it is going? From ears, it should go and enter the with what it is attaching. That is through the nerves. Yeah? Brain has many nerves in that the body is also having many nerves in our body that we see later. But these nerves are sending. It may be the sense, it may be the smell, it may be the taste or it may be the feel. All those things are being sent to the brain with the nerves. Yeah, till now we have seen the sense organs. Go to page number 182. Turn the page. Now we see... There are a number of other organs in our body. We have seen the sense organs. Not only sense organs, there are other organs also in our body. What are they? These organs do not work alone. Like this, all the sense organs are doing the work alone. Yeah, but there are some organs which they do not do a work alone. But they do carry the work and do the functions with the combined. What are they we see now? Several organs work together to carry out a function. Several organs will carry together. All those organs are there, they will work together to carry out a single, one single function. But many things are involved in that or many organs are involved in that. A number of organs which work together to do a special kind of work forms a system. See, an organ, anything, it is not being done with a single one, but is a function. So many organs are putting together, then it is called a one function. These all the functions are again in turn be done with the special kind of work for a single system. Only one system is working means so many many things should be involved in that. Yeah? There are a number of other organs in our body. These organs do not work alone. Yeah? Several organs work together to carry a one single function. A number of organs which work together to do a special kind of work for a system. Got it everyone? Yeah. There are a number of systems in our body. There are many Systems are there which are working together. All many organs are involved in that. Any functions are involved in that. Yeah, that we will be seeing one by one. First, we will see the skeletal system. Skeletal. The system is called the skeletal. All together it is called the, the skeletal system. Yeah, it is not mentioned in the textbook separately. Yeah, but we are talking about the skeletal system. The skeletal system consists of all the 206, 206 bones in our body. How many bones? There are 206 bones. All together the whole body constitutes of 206 bones. How many? 206 bones are there in our human body. Okay. The bones give strength, shape and support to the body. This is the skeleton system how it looks like without any flesh. So we can't count the bones directly like this but there are 206 bones in this particular skeleton. Okay. The skeleton system what it is giving? The, it is giving the bones it is giving the strength to the body the shape and the support also. Yeah. Skeleton system. They are not going in depth of these systems. You should know only what is skeletal system. What is skeletal system? It is giving the body a shape. It is giving the strength. It is giving the support. Everything. And one more thing you need to know is there are 206 bones in our body. This is all about the skeletal system. Yeah. We, there is much to read. Much to know. But in our textbook, in our syllabus of 4th class, this much is enough. You should have a knowledge. There is one system called a skeletal system in our body. Next, the muscular system. Second one is the 
muscular system what is this muscular system when the muscles involved in any of the systems then it is called as a muscular skeleton the bones are involved skeletal system here the muscles are being involved what is this we see the muscular system consists of all the 339 muscles 639 muscles are there in our body these muscles are attached to the bones how are these muscles are attached they are attached to the bones these muscles help us to stand sit walk run and do different kinds of work one is the skeleton system it is giving the shape to our body then the muscles it is binding the bones what the skeleton system and it is giving that whatever the shape what we are getting it or how can we sit we need to sit we need to stand we need to walk run all the activities are being under the control of this muscles yeah muscular system consists of how many muscles 639 muscles in our body yeah and these muscles are attached to the bones okay that is the second point the third point is how it is helping us what it is doing it is helping us the muscles help us to stand sit walk run and do different kinds of work see here one is the skeletal system skeleton okay all about the skeletal system and these are the muscles the red color one you can see you know in the textbook these are the muscles which are holding the bones and it is giving the shape a particular shape to the body and how we can sit we can stand we can run all these things is possible with these muscles that is all about the muscular system okay